Hello and welcome to Education Technology Professionals. I'm Mr. Kirshner, the Director of STEM Education, and in this video we'll be looking at the second part of our Pokemon dataset filtering project. So we've already taken a look at the Pokemon dataset. We've filtered out the information we've need, we, we need, and we've built tables of the three water Pokemon with the strongest attacks, the three fire Pokemon with the strongest defenses, and the fastest Pokemon. The next step of our project is to take that information, move it into a Google Doc, add the pictures of the uh, Pokemon on the list, and uh, just you know, kind of make a nice presentation. So how you sort it and how you position things on the page will be up to you. Uh, I'll be showing you how to move the tables over and how to get and add the pictures of the Pokemon. So let's head on over to the uh, Pokemon dataset file and we'll see where we are. So here's the data that we worked with last time. And again, you'll remember down on the other sheet, the second tab for the tabled examples, we have the tables that we built. Now, if you look up at the top on the tab, you'll see that I have opened a blank Google Doc. So you'll just need to go to your Google Drive um, and then add a doc where you can open up Google Docs and just add a blank document. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by selecting our water Pokemon table. And again, you can you know, either use the menu at the top, click on Edit and Copy, or you can use Control-C on the keyboard to copy it. But again, we always start in the one corner of the table. We hold the mouse button down and we drag across to the far corner in order to select the data. I'm going to use Control C on the keyboard. I'm going to come up to the document. Now I am going to Control V. Or again, I could always come up to Edit and click Paste. Now, it's asking me if I want to paste a link to the spreadsheet, if I want to keep the spreadsheet linked to the Google Sheet file from which I copied it. And what will happen if I keep it linked is if I update the spreadsheet in a while, if um, the, you know, the, the water Pokemon with the highest attack changes uh, and I update the data in that file, it will then carry that data over to this document so that we have you know basically live links um, I don't want to do that I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it unlinked so I'll paste that in and now we can see our table here and in fact while I'm working on this I'll go down a few lines just hitting enter a few times and we can move the other data sets over as well so again, same thing. I'll start in one corner, drag across to the opposite corner, control C, or again, I can come up to edit and click copy there. And then I come over to the document and I paste it. And each time I'm going to be asked if I want to paste linked or unlinked. And again, each time I'm going to paste unlinked. And I'll enter a few more times and now we can go get the information for our fastest Pokemon. We'll copy that and move that over. All right, so now we have all of our data tables, all of our information in our Google Doc. The next step, and I'll only show you for the first couple, uh, but our next step now is to go and to get pictures of these Pokemon so that we can kind of decorate and, and make our information look better. So we want to start with Mega Gyarados. So I'm going to double click, actually triple click on Mega Gyarados that I've highlighted what's in the cell. I'm going to copy it. And now I'm going to go to Google and I am going to enter that there. So Mega Gyarados. I hit enter. And now we have pictures of Mega Gyarados and that's what I'm looking for. I want pictures. So I'll click on images. So now I have all of these images of Mega Gyarados. I will click on one. Now I've got the picture up here on the right. I can right click on it and I can save or, or copy image. I want to copy the image. I can come back to my document now and I'll click here under the table and now I can paste and now I have my image of Mega Gyarados. Now unfortunately I can't move the image where I want because it's actually 
tied to being in line. There's a line in front of it and a line after it, and it is in between those two lines. But if I click on the picture, I come down, I can change to wrap text. And now you'll see the table underneath of it jumped up, and I can move my picture wherever I want it, and I can resize it. All right, so we have the Mega Gyarados. We can, again, put it wherever we want. So let's try it with Kingler. Again, I'll double-click on the word Kingler. And then we can come back to our Google image search. I'll replace Mega Gyarados with Kingler. Hit Enter. And now we have Kingler. And again, I'll just go ahead and pick a good image. Right-click on it. Copy image. And we'll come back and paste it in. And again, I always want to do wrap text so that I can position the image where I want. All right, so let's put that there. I'm going to add a couple more. Actually, let's go ahead and move Kingler here under the file. And you'll see as I move it around, I get these lines that help me line it up with the other items in the, in the document. So now I've got the left margin lit up. Um, here I can put it right under Mega Gyarados, uh, or I can line the right edge of the picture up with the end of the Mega Gyarados picture, or even with the right margin. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here where it is, up against the left margin. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same. I'm going to select Gyarados. I'm going to come back to Google. And I'm going to do a search on Gyarados. Pick a good picture. Oh, this is going to be a large one, but that's okay. We can resize it once we get it into the document. Copy the image. And go back to the document. Pick my insertion point and paste it in. And there it is. Entirely too large. But I can click on it. Grab one of these boxes in the corner and resize it as needed. All right, and the same, and again, I want to click wrap. There we go. The same process works for all of the other Pokemon. And again, you can put them wherever they look good. Uh, you know, sort them out and uh, display them in a way that makes sense for your project. I hope that this helps. We look forward to seeing what you turn in. And as always, stay safe, stay well, and we look forward to seeing you in the classroom soon.